Hello there, this is Rewind FIFA and I'm here today with my first ever video for you guys and I am basically going to be starting a trading series in which the ultimate uh, goal, I suppose you could say, is to be able to buy this in form Oxlade Chamberlain. He is a complete beast! Look at this, these stats. There's 93 pace, 73 dribbling, all round complete legend. He is at the moment up around 450k, but by the time I get around to buying him, I'm afraid that his price will be up around 600k. Here's one for 400k actually, so maybe um, I could get him for 550k once I've got these this co this amount of coins. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to pick up an Oxlade Chamberlain and I can play with him for a bit to show you guys. Now, basically what I'm going to do today is I am going to show you how I trade. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Normally I like to trade with players between the price of 2,000 coins and 5,000 coins. And I like to do gold players. So what I'm just doing now is finding a player to trade with. Because... You know what, I can never tell what player I'm going to trade with, because it's just quite a tough decision, to be honest with you. So I go and usually search out players between 2 grand and 5 grand, and I'm happy to trade with any of them. So right now, the player I've chosen I am going to trade with is going to be... Actually, that's a nice player, actually. Eden Hazard here. I'm going to trade with Eden Hazard for this video. He is a left winger right there he plays for Belgium and he plays for LOSC Lille he goes for around four grand so we'll just check that out in a second there we go LOSC Lille here we are four grand for Eden Hazard Ooh, there are plenty of them. So maybe three thousand eight hundred. No, it's going to be three thousand nine hundred. Yep. So we can pick up an Eden Hazard for three thousand nine hundred by now. What that means to me is that when I buy an Eden Hazard, that's the price I can sell him at. That means that I need to buy Eden Hazard at a price which I can make a profit on him. So let's say three thousand five hundred coins. But also, what I need to do is bear in mind the EA tax, which is 5% of anything you sell. So that means that if I'm going to um, sell Eden Hazard for 4,000 coins, I'm going to have to pay an EA tax of 200 coins. So instead of actually searching for an Eden Hazard at 3,500 coins, I'm going to search for an Eden Hazard on an open bid at 3,300 coins. And I'm going to try and pick up as many of him as I can. Now... I'm just going to chuck some bids on any of these and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the bit video in a few seconds and I will let wait for s 6 minutes I think is what I'll do maybe a bit less if I if I knock if I don't want to and um basically I'll come back to you show you if I've got them hopefully I'll get them and um I'll put them up for auction and we can see what I get so I'll see you in a bit guys. Here we are. This is the end of my first video, part one. Got two of them, one for three thousand four hundred coins, the other for three thousand coins. So that means I can put them up for auction at this one can go up for three thousand eight hundred by now three thousand nine hundred. Likewise with the other one. And um hopefully they should sell. Um you never know to be honest but hopefully they will sell I'll just show you my trade pile here uh... these are the type of players I trade with Toure is someone who I like to trade with a lot silver players trade with all the time if you can pick up some nice badges and try and flog them for 150 200 coins um... Mikko Richards I like to trade with two Eden Hazards who else do we have? Buffon. So, yeah, just try some of these players out in your own time. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a list of players I've managed to pick up using a similar technique to the one I've just showed you.
and then later on I'll add in another clip of what of how they sold. So yeah. All right there. So I've had a hard day's trading, and I've come up with a few players here. Few. First person I went for was Muller uh, from Bayern Munich, and I got two of him for 700 coins. And I bought one now through the buy it now feature at I think it was 800 coins. Yep, 800 coins there. Now I've also bought a few Andy Carrolls at 750 coins each. Then there's also an Andy Carroll for 800 coins, which I bought through buy it now. Here's a Tim Krul, which I got for five for two 2,200 coins because I wanted to get a few silvers and I think I bought a Tim Krul by now, yep, here it is for, I think I overpaid for this one but, oh no, maybe not, 2,100 coins um, I also bought two Sam Wells by it now for 2,700 and I think this one was also 2,700 now here we have a few more Samwells, 2,500, 2,500, and 2,800. And finally, I bought a Lindegard for two, for 3,000 coins. So that was basically a day's worth of trading. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick them all up, all up for auction. And in a few minutes, I'll come back to you and I'll tell you how I did. Okay, then. So most of these players have sold. I'll just show you the ones that didn't quickly. Eden Hazard didn't sell, we're trying to shift him off for 3,700 but he's not going. Andy Carroll's still not selling and this Samwell is not selling. But apart from that, I've actually sold quite a lot of things and it's gone quite well. Here you can see I've got a Carroll which sold for 700 coins, I made a little loss on him. Then I sold the Lindegaard for 3,500 coins, about a 500 coin profit on him. Muller was bought for a thousand coins, so I made about three hundred coins on him. Carol, I broke even on here. Muller, I lost a tiny bit on here after EA tax, but I'm not too fussed about that because both crawls went for a nice little profit of about five hundred coins each. This Muller, again, I made a small loss on him, but my big um, win of the day, you could say is these um, sales of Samwell who actually was great to sell, I'll be trading with him a lot more then I think that's everyone who I was selling um, so yeah at the end of this episode my stats were here as you can see on the screen I spent three, 31,000 coins I received 35,000 coins so I made a profit of 4,250 coins after EA tax. That's quite a low profit actually. So next um, next time I'll be trying to make a bigger profit uh, after investing fewer coins. And so come back to see my next video in the road to Infomox. Let's see you in a bit and thanks.